Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some travel spread ideas for your bullet journal and this is going to cover everything from brainstorming places you want to visit to preparing for upcoming trips and even to documenting trips that you've taken in the past. So let's get started. This first page I'm showing you is going to be something like a travel wish list and I'm just starting off with a header at the top. You can really do this in whatever lettering style you want. I'm just doing a skinny all caps, outlining that with a little bubble and then creating a drop shadow for that whole thing. I just wanted something that would have a little bit of weight on the page. And then underneath that, I'm drawing a little wavy banner shape and I'm going to write a subheader in there a little later with my white gel pen. And in the remaining space, I'm creating four equal sized rectangles and creating drop shadows for those as well so that they'll match the header a little bit. I created these four sections so that I could break up the different places that I want to go. Uh, so the four sections I have are day trips, weekend trips, trips within the United States or whatever country you're in, and international trips. And I'm filling in the subhead at the top and finishing off the header so that it says places I want to visit. For each of those boxes, I'm going to draw another little banner shape to match the one at the top of the page. I find it really helpful to break up my travel wish list into categories like this because I think a lot of us often want to go to places that are very far away and it's just not really practical for most of us to be able to travel to many expensive and far away trips like that. So it's nice to have a few options whenever a long weekend comes up or just when you have a day off to have some ideas of places that you want to go that um, you can just hop into a car or a train and you can just spend a day there exploring and kind of get that travel bug out of your system a little bit before you can go on a longer trip. And then once you have that list of longer trips, you can plan for those more. I have some empty space near my header to add some more illustrations, so I'm just drawing in some trees because I personally really love to travel to the mountains, but you can definitely personalize this for whatever you like. So if you really like to go to the beach, maybe you can draw some seashells or something like that. So just play with that and make it yours. My second layout idea will be useful for once you have a trip planned and you just need to get some planning done for it. I'm starting off with a map illustration in the top left corner and just making this little trail that goes off of the map and onto the page and also creating a header for my destination at the top just using, bringing in some color and adding some weight to that by adding a line drop shadow with my fine liner. And then I'm going to start making some boxes and shapes around the page. What I'm doing for this spread is making each little box area look like a stationary item. So I'll have notebooks, post-it pads, some loose leaf paper, that sort of thing just so that it looks almost like a desk with a bunch of paper scattered across it. I think this is just a really nice way to make a page more interesting than a bunch of different boxes and it doesn't take too much extra work because most of these are most of these things are pretty simple to draw. At the bottom, I'm adding some more fun illustrations with a little car and this is going to connect the dash line coming from the map to the car. Then for each of these boxes, I'm just writing in different categories that I think will be helpful for me. So some of these things are my itinerary, my packing list, and things that I want to do in the city I'm going to visit. And then I also created a little mini calendar on the top right, which is super important when you're traveling just so that you make sure you know which dates you're traveling. And I'm going to be using my marker to highlight those dates in a little bit. 
Right now I'm bringing in that color and adding drop shadows to everything just to tie in this page. It's a very monochromatic look and I really like that especially for pages that have a ton of illustrations or where there's a lot going on and you don't want the color to overtake all of the information but just to tie everything together. My third example is actually a spin-off of the second one. I just wanted to have another option with a slightly different theme. So this theme would be great for any longer trips you're taking because I'm starting off with an airplane. So obviously anywhere you're flying would be great for this. And just going with a slightly different style and color. Again, I'm doing the dashed line this time with a colored marker and just slightly different header style. So this is just to show you how you can mix it up and um, how these spreads can look very different with just a few changes. For this one, instead of creating those boxes of stationery and papers, I'm going to have more of a luggage travel theme. So I'm starting off by drawing some suitcases, duffel bags, briefcases, that sort of thing. Um, again, these are not too difficult to draw, maybe a little bit more involved than the last one, but I think it's pretty approachable for all skill levels. I also drew a little illustration of a couple of boarding passes. These aren't going to have any space to have information on them, but I just thought it would be a nice little decorative element to add to the page to go along with all of these little suitcases. Then I'm just going to add in my headers and my color, just like I did in the last one. Once you've taken all of these trips, it's great to have a spread to document all of them. So that's exactly what this one is gonna be here. I'm doing an Instax Polaroid theme. So I'm starting off by making a bunch of Instax shapes here. These are the Instax mini, so they're more of like a portrait um, orientation, but you could also do like the square or landscape ones if that's what you like better. So the idea with these is that I'm going to have a little illustration for each place that I travel throughout the year. So I'm definitely going to leave most of these blank for me to fill in as I travel, but I did want to fill in some of them just so that you guys can see what it looks like. And for the ones I pre-filled, I like to do the ones that are kind of hanging off the page and that I wouldn't be able to fit a full illustration in anyway. So you can see the one at the bottom, I drew in like a little camp in the mountain scene and then one on the right, I drew in a bridge. So just little things like that. If you want, you can start off with all of these blanks so that you have more places to fill in throughout the year and I also just lettered in a nice little header quote in the front Polaroid as well And then I drew a little airplane and I'm going to be doing a little dashed line just going across the page just to create a little bit more movement and to fill in some of those areas. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen me fill in a couple of these boxes already and I really love how it's coming out. I have a couple more trips coming up so I'm going to be filling in this page even more so make sure to follow me if you want to see how those all come out. So those are my four travel page ideas. I hope this inspires you guys and that this gets you excited to travel a little bit, whether it's a short trip or a long one. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all again next time.